This question clearly involves some geometry vocab. We need to know what isosceles means. I hope that you know what a right triangle is. Um, so uh, let's take a look here. We would need to draw this. I would draw this, I guess, this way. An isosceles right triangle. So that means that the two sides are going to be, or the two legs, I should say, are going to be the ones that are congruent, right? So this and this are the isosceles triangle sides. Uh, now, the reason that that's important is we actually know how isosceles right triangles work because if those sides are the same, the angles opposite them have to be the same. Now, there's 180 degrees in a triangle. We've already got 90 taken care of by the right angle. That leaves 90 left, and 90 divided by 2 is 45. So we have a way to kind of solve this, right? So let me put this in. Um, let me put in the reference chart here. Paste. There it is. Reference chart. And let's make it nice and big so we can really see it because um, I really care about this part right here because that is also an isosceles right triangle. And you can see there's a relationship between the S's and the S root 2's. So that's kind of how I'm going to think of this is I've got my S, my S, my S root 2. I hate that they use S though. It kind of bothers me because my S's look like 5's, but it's okay. Let's focus now on the other piece of information they gave us. The perimeter is 94 plus 94 root 2. So uh, we've got to be careful here. Some of you are just going to be like, oh, the length of one of the legs then is 94 because that's the 94 root 2 corresponds to the root 2 side. That's the hypotenuse. No, 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 because there's two legs. So then there'll be two 94s in there. So it's going to be messier than we would want. And it's a great example of like know where you are in the test. This would be a question later. This might even be the last question in a section. So you should know that there's a twist. It's not going to be that simple. There's going to be something else to do, but it's still the same process. So just do the process. Um, so the perimeter of 94 plus 94 root 2 is equal to this. I'm going to switch them to X's. I hate these S's. X, X, X root 2. So X plus X plus X root 2. So 94 plus 94 root 2 is equal to 2X plus X root 2. So that's kind of messy, right? Because we can see it now better, right? That 2x, if the if 2x is equal to 94, then x isn't going to be 94. So we, we got to solve it. And you can be like, oh, all right, that means that that 94 root 2 is somehow involved with the, um, the uh, right triangle. And we've got to kind of work that back into the x. It's kind of going to be messy. Um, here's my advice. Let's just go to Desmos. We have an equation with one variable. Let's just let it do it. So 94 plus 94 square root 2 is equal to, equal to, uh, we can just do, let's do it all the way back to basics. x plus x plus x root 2. Now, it's going to graph it. You might not see it here, but it's there. we got to find it. But basically, there's going to be a vertical line somewhere. There it is. And I, ooh, I am able to touch it. Um, ooh. I don't know what that little symbol is. I'm using a different browser than usual, so that's probably a copy button, but it doesn't matter. We don't need it. Uh, so there you go. X, in this case, is this vertical line. They're telling me it's 66.46804. Now, I don't know what that is, but it's got to be one of these. So now it's just a matter of testing them, right? So I know it's not 47. I know it's not 94. I bet it's not 94 root 2 because that would be bigger than 94. So it's probably 47 root 2, but let's double check. Let's just put it in. 47 square root. 66.4, whatever, right? That's it, done. So yeah, you could do this using algebra and solve for X. And, and maybe there's even a little bit of a guess and check involved here where like you can kind of just use the answers and be like, well, it's, I know it's not going to be one of the nice ones like C or A and 94 root 2 wouldn't make sense because then that would be the hypotenuse of anything, but then you would need to double it. So like you can kind of just maybe see that it's got to be B. Um, almost in like a guess and check kind of way without actually doing the checking. But it doesn't really take more than a second to take that formula that we created and then to just put it in Desmos. Since it only has the one variable, Desmos is going to solve it by doing what it does for any kind of uh, equation, right? So this is a geometry question, but if we had a just normal XY plane question, it would be the same thing. Put it in, let it solve it, and it's going to give you a vertical line right through where the x-axis hits is going to be your solution. And so there you go. Much easier than doing it by hand. So don't forget, even non-geometry, Desmos can make your life a lot easier. Um, but there are also these kind of trap answers that we expect in other parts of the test. They're going to show up in geometry too. So 
Geometry is its own little topic on the SAT, but it still obeys a lot of the same SAT kind of rules that we see in other places. So don't get complacent. Don't try to treat it as something different. It's just still part of an SAT.